changes that we've made structurally, we're now able to, to do it securely whilst putting in a 5,050 milliamp hour battery and keeping you know, the, 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 the deltas on the, uh, the thickness of the device nice and low. So that's, that's sort of one of the big changes. The, the, other, the other big change that I've noticed is I was able to pull that out with my hands. It took me a few moments because this is the first time it's been done on this device, right? Um, and you still need to have a good level of piece of in there. But normally you'd have, you'd have, in previous devices you'd have had to use some kind of alcohol to actually dissolve the glue before it's then reapplied to get the, the battery yeah. again. So that's a, are these like okay. reusable as adhesive so, yeah. Well, what's going to happen is what you would do now is you would you would take the, the battery out, get a new one, and, and then it would go uh, and actually you'd just be able to tap it back down again. Yeah. I'm going to use and the same battery because to uh, so, so, so the so the first step the new battery is to remove the back cover of this. I'm going to start with this. The like first thing is to recommend just getting the oh, I see. Okay, the so, so actually that plastic cover that we see on the battery. Um, oh, it's just the experience fix is this thing. Use like the bracket to entry mode. So that's just going to be wrong. It makes it easier to pull it out. Yeah. Right, but that's not that's not adhesing adhering it to anything. No, no. So the these these little black. Stick is here at the actual. Got it. Got it. And, and, so, and they're kind of like, I mean, they're not quite like a post it but it's like. And it's going to stay sticky. So, I mean, if you were to change the battery a times, maybe you'd lose the adhesive, right? But you'll see, you know, I'll turn, the, I'll turn it upside down when we're done the replacement, you'll see that it's still very much yeah. there. I mean, I think the average phone is what going to have to battery replaced twice. Yeah, right? it's like yeah. I mean, it would depend on, on, on the consumer, right? But uh, how long you can manage to keep the phone from. Uh, so, very good. So, if, uh, so that, that's, that's really it, but it's going to reverse the process now. Uh, put the battery back in the device. In this case, we use the same battery because there's nothing wrong with this one. This is brand new. Okay. Um, so so we'll just connect the good opportunity to talk about where you would get that replacement battery from. Yes, yes, that makes sense. And then um, so I'll, I'll do I'll two further down. things so about the battery. First of all, yeah. is the partnership yeah. with the fantastic team over at iFix. But of course, they of course will have to, all to get it off from the T set available from them, as well as the guys to walk you through exactly what we've just done. And now put the phone back together and those tools. Do the steps backwards, basically. So all of that is going to be available through them. The second thing I mentioned is that these batteries, whilst we are also you know, making it easier to, to repair, another thing that we're doing is actually extending the life of the batteries themselves. And of course, so the industry uh, standard at the moment I'm struggling for a battery of this because size it's a is demo. about 500 charging cycles yeah. before you see what they consider as a, a marked drop off in performance. That's where it goes below about 80% of its original capacity. These, we've upped that from 500 to 800. So that's the level now before you're going to see that drop. So a big, big jump. So not only are we making it easy to replace, we're making it much longer in the first place. So, okay. back in it goes. As you can see, everything is nice and, nice and tappy. So all I'll do is just up that. So you can see it's absolutely nice and, uh, and stuck in. I'm sorry. <laughs> So now what you're going to see is, is that we're going to reconnect those two connectors uh, So first one is the battery here. And then the next one we've got the fingerprint sensor over here. And then of course, so on, on, on can someone of you try it? I'm just right now struggling with the connector. It would be the The big difference is that it wouldn't be as simple to reach anything that you need to to take apart. It really is just a case of two screws and, and, and how they Maybe it's slip. because whereas I these the battery in like the process. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it would be it would depend on you know what, oh. what the internal oh. does, does it have a type five for the side. Does it have various other yeah. elements yeah. that are built into the built into the chassis of the device. You know, for most people a lot of devices you wouldn't even pop open the case like that without the buttons and other dependencies. Of course and the screen on the screen. Think about think about an in screen display and all of that kind of stuff. It's all great. So, um, so that's one of the right. yeah. Happy for me to uh, put the, 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 the covers back on. I'll I hope not. See them in your fingers but now uh, I'm a bit uh, uh, frazzled. Uh, so this, this one here is the cover that's going to sit across the fingerprint scanner. No, that's and then the this one here is the one that's going to protect the battery connection. And so those aren't adhered, they're just kind no, of sorted. No, it's, it's that single screw. Oh, oh single screw. I'm just going to pop it back in like that, and then take the screws, and the magnetized screw down before I fix it. Uh, there we go. There it goes. That's all done. Okay. Yeah, 
really need to go real slow with it. Just real slow with it. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, Some culture, and that's it. There we go. That's uh, that's, that's all of it.